When starting off with a blank Weebly page, most individuals want to add three types of content. They would like to have some sort of title, uh, the text or the body of the, the material, and then also some sort of visual element, whether that be an image or a chart or a graph. And Weebly has a special button that allows you to do this very quickly, uh, the paragraph with picture button that you can grab and pull down into that blank page, allowing you to add in um, all of that content very easily. And, and what it would end up looking like uh, if you, you know, went in and filled it in would be something like this. You can move the image around very easily. It does give you the option to resize. But sometimes this look isn't exactly what you want. Uh, one of the challenges with it at times is what you can see right here occurring at the bottom of the image where it's um, in some ways interfering with the text below it. Um, and so that paragraph looks a little awkward. And you can do some resizing to sort of clean it up, but that may not always be the best solution for you. You may want a little bit more customization, or maybe you want to add in a couple of images, and it's just not, you know, allowing you to drag that material in. So it's a little bit limited to use just a paragraph with picture. It's great if that's all you need, but if you want a little bit more customization, there is a secret uh, sort of way to work with it in Weebly, and it's really just based off a uh, design principle. What that, that design principle, uh, for those who work in graphic design, is that any separate element on the page needs to be treated as a separate element. So Weebly also gives you the options to pull down individual types of things like just the title, just the text, and then just the image. Um, but you may say, well, this still isn't exactly the same look. I actually like the uh, embedded where the text and the picture are side by side. So how would I do that? And the secret is this column feature, where if you pull the column feature down in, um, and you'll notice to drag images, you click these little three bars, you can pull the image you can pull that text into a column and then you get the option to adjust it. So what does that look like when you're finished? Something a little bit more like this. Um, again, it's putting all the text in a, a sort of set width column and then the image column here on the side, but it would be very easy if you wanted to add in a separate image, if you wanted to add some special little text, maybe a caption or something like that under the image. Now you've got plenty of space to do that. So Really the secret with Weebly is if the, the standard um, easily pulled in paragraph with picture works for you, great, but if it's frustrating you, if it's not quite what you're looking for, think about each of the elements as a separate item and work with those individually using the multiple columns feature.